Hey guys, Apple has officially released iOS 12 beta 6 to register developers today. And as always, I like to share with you guys everything that's new with the software, right? So today's software comes in at 450 megabytes if you're updating from beta 5 to beta 6. And you may be wondering, didn't we see a beta last week? Why did we see another beta so quickly afterwards? Well, when Apple is nearly completing a software, this is what happens. We go from a two week release cycle to a one week release cycle, which means iOS 12 is ramping up and soon to be released. We'll talk about a release state here shortly first let's go ahead and take a look at the build number which is 16a5345f and of course i'm going to share with you guys some of the key things that are different here a follow-up video you should expect that in the next couple of days i'm going to be testing the battery and some additional new changes that i may come across with using the software for 48 hours or so so let's talk about an expected release date for ios 12 from here on out we can expect a beta every week maybe a skipping a week towards the end of august we'll talk about that as it happens but from now we may see seven maybe nine betas uh, for ios 12 before its official launch the rumored announced date for the new iphones is around september 12 the release date is around the 21st so we can expect ios 12 to release a few days before the new iphones i'm talking september 19th or the 20th that's just my guess but let's get to some of the changes within ios 12 beta 6. now the first thing i want to share with you guys is inside of the messages application if i tap into the app store there's a new splash screen that i came across i'm not sure if you guys have seen this one it's the first time i see it now when i went to set up the any emojis within the messages application as well i got some new splash screens here for setting up any emojis which is really really cool uh, it's the first time i see it i'm not sure if you guys have seen those before now there's a few things inside of the home application here you see that the a uh, wallpaper background there for the home application is a little different let's take a look at beta 5 here just so i can kind of show you guys there's the wallpaper from before and there's the new one it's in just a cleaner look i think i like this look a lot better though now in settings you'll be disappointed to find out that some of the wallpapers are missing and also they've been rearranged here uh, it's different on all devices you see there the ios 12 and ios 11 wallpapers are towards the bottom and they were towards the top in beta 5 and then some of the wallpapers are also missing there as well now if you follow my videos here on the channel yesterday i posted a video showing some dark mode elements within the files application built into ios unfortunately that was beta 5 this is beta 6 it looks like apple has reverted those changes back to the original colors as you see here some of the dark mode elements again this is going to be beta 5 on the right you see there this means that apple could be internally testing dark mode for ios and it may make its way to ios 12 before its official launch but unfortunately with beta 6 it did get reverted back to the original now on some other quick notes according to apple's release notes there's some new bugs introduced with beta 6 although they did fix a bunch of the ones related to beta 5 if we go to general accessibilities speech the settings app may quit it didn't do it for me but it may do it for you that's according to apple's release notes one of the bugs if you don't have the mail maps voice memos or facetime application when updating to beta 6 this is also a known issue just go ahead and go to the app store and re-download those this is a common issue in beta 6 where those apps would just disappear from the home screen as well there's still some minor issues with siri and with the apple tv and home kit those devices having issues appearing on your home kit application so just keep those in mind now this was just a quick video taking a look at ios 12 beta 6 again as i mentioned i'll have a direct follow-up video for you guys in the next couple of days just to test the battery and as I use the software to share with you guys some additional changes and features that I may come across. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.